Clones, clones, clones! Where are my clones? <laughs> Greetings, this is your Space Wingman, and today we're in space with the Swapper. What is the Swapper? In short, it is an atmospheric 2D single player puzzle sci fi game set in deep space. Just how I like it. In space, you are playing a character on a space station who finds a device which allows you to clone yourself while being trapped on a space station, on which previously the entire crew seemed to have disappeared, and from here your puzzle adventure begins. To solve the puzzle parts in the Swapper, you have to produce clones of the main character, which then can be placed anywhere on the screen and transmit yourself, or swap, between the clones to collect orbs or press buttons. Those two game mechanics are expanded upon over the course of the game in an entertaining and challenging way by thoughtfully placed obstacles in your way, which in turn increase the difficulty in placing your clones and therefore solve the puzzles. In my opinion, the Swapper presents skillfully a grim and gripping sci-fi world. Story and puzzle parts go seamlessly hand in hand with each other. Positive is furthermore that most puzzle parts are non-linear, so they must not be solved in a sequence, something that has always bothered me with traditional puzzle games, in which you have to solve puzzle after puzzle, and when you get stuck with one puzzle, you can't play anymore. Basically being stuck on that one and, well, if you don't play it, then, well, you stop playing altogether. So in the Swapper, you have to solve several puzzle parts at once, so if you get stuck, on one part, you can at least go to another and continue playing the game. But make no mistake, in the Swapper you have to solve all puzzle parts to reach the end. What business model has the Swapper? On PC, you can get the Swapper on GOG and Steam, available on both for Windows and Mac OS operating systems. For Steam users, it's additionally offered for Steam OS and Linux operating systems. The Swapper has no DLC, no Season Pass, no mods, and does not need a separate registration uh, in order to be played. So if you should decide to buy it, you get the full game on Steam and GOG alike. The value of the game? The Swapper is now over two years old and available for a reasonable budget price. Interface. What interfaces should be used to fully enjoy the Swapper? Well. I personally like uh, playing the Swapper with the gamepad. Kind of feels overall being made for being played with the gamepad. Uh, because I tried for a short time playing the Swapper with keyboard and mouse, and well, I didn't like it. Because at some points, moving your character around didn't feel right to me, uh, and it kind of felt there is some delay in the movement. But I actually cannot put my finger on it. I mean, it's playable with keyboard and mouse, but if you got a gamepad, I would recommend you play this game with a gamepad. And yeah, no joystick support, so <laughs> zero out of five. And that's it for the interface. Score. So if you're a space gamer, I would rate this a four out of five. If this game brings you really to a different world and uh, you deal with alien concepts while using a cloning device, so far out. <laughs> uh, if you're a story gamer, I also rate this a 4 out of 5. The story is, like I said earlier, a very solid sci-fi story. The only negative thing uh, I can think of is that the Swapper doesn't have memorable characters, but me very memorable concepts. So, I mean, there are characters who drive the story, but it's overall you and the atmosphere and the story and the story bits and how the entire game hype progresses, uh, which really drives the game and overall the story. If you're a gameplay gamer, um, I'm rating this a 4 out of 5 too, but only if you're a puzzle guy. Because the Swapper is first and foremost a puzzle game. If you're not into puzzle platformers, then the Swapper will not convert you. But if you like puzzle games, creative ones, uh, with, well, atmosphere, style, uh, then the Swapper is something for you. And with a budget price, kind of at a sale day, uh, must buy, actually. So, yeah, 
this is what I overall score the swapper. Summary. So, this will be a short one. The swapper, in my opinion, is a very good sci-fi 2D puzzle platformer with a good story, driven overall by its amazing atmosphere. For me, it was overall a really nice journey into an atmospheric world which just oozes style with creative puzzles to solve, which in some parts really drove me mad, but you have to really think creative, especially in, well, last quarter of the game, then the puzzles really, really dial it up in terms of creativity and difficulty. So, yeah, I would recommend the Swapper to everybody who is looking for a creative puzzle game. If you're not a puzzle guy, then the Swapper sadly is not for you and will not all convert you to the genre. But if you want to test out the genre, I would say the Swapper is a good, would be a good entry. So, yeah, this is my opinion uh, about the Swapper. I hope you liked my review. And, yeah, hope to see you all again. This is your Space Wingman, signing out.